Hey there guys, my name is Jester Logic, and I'm here today with Double Cross Gaming to bring you a basic introduction to the Soldier class for Tribe Descend. Enjoy. Alright guys, the Soldier is one of the most diverse classes in the game and can fill three major roles. Defense, Offense and Capping. Weapons, perks and tactics will change depending on your choice, so let's have a look at the class weapons first and then we'll look at the roles and the different loadouts. So you have two choices when it comes to primary weapons. The assault rifle or the spin fuser. Two very different weapons. The rifle is an automatic projectile weapon, which is fantastic for things like chasing, and the other is a slow moving explosive projectile, much more suited to base tank or flank clearing. And as much as I love the spin fuser, the assault rifle is too much of a useful weapon to give up in most situations, so it's the weapon that's usually favoured for most roles. The secondary weapon choice is between the thumper and the eagle pistol, again two very different weapons. One is a hit scan pistol, and the other is a slow moving explosive. The thumper is favoured almost universally, and when used in combination with the assault rifle makes you extremely versatile on the field. The two grenade options are the frag grenade XL and the anti-personnel grenade. The frag does less damage but covers a larger area, and the anti-personnel grenade does more damage to individual targets but requires more precision aim due to a smaller blast radius. They both have their uses, but for offense where grenades are most likely to be used, I'd use the XL so I can hit as many of the defenders off the flag as possible. So now we've had a quick look at the weapons, let's have a quick look at the three roles and what I would recommend using for each. So on defense you have two major concerns, cappers and disruption. A capper is going to try and take your flank and the disruption will do everything they can to make it easier. So you need to always be aware of when the enemy begins an attack. Coordinate with your team to make sure no cappers try and sneak up on you. Try and coordinate people to fight off the harassment and people to stay on the flank. This should optimize your chance of stopping the cappers. In a best case scenario, a capper won't even make it off the flank stand. To do as much damage as possible, shoot the flag stand as the capper passes through with the thumper. If many of your defense have seen the enemy, multiple thumpers make very short work of even the toughest of cappers. If the capper manages to get off the flag stand, give chase. Use the assault rifle to take down the capper and use your thumper to gain speed via thumper jumping. No, not everyone should chase. At least one person to stay behind a base to make sure the return is safe. And on the subject of returns, don't always return the flag right away. In a situation like that in the video, our flag had been knocked into a very opportunistic place. That was much easier to defend than the flag stand and was extremely hard for the enemy to pick up with any real speed. Getting those few points for a return isn't worth the loss of your flag. When you're on offense, your primary role is to attack the enemy base and make the cappers job a lot easier. So you need to listen to your cappers. Go in when they're going in for their run and try to remain unseen for as long as possible on the way into the enemy base. Disruption is one of your main tasks. You need to clear the flag stand of both mines and enemies. Try to remain undetected and flush the enemy off with explosives as your capper is coming in. This will make his escape far easier. And again, this makes communication very important between yourself and your cappers. Because of the fact you're often around the enemy base, you're usually called upon to emergency grab. This is a grab to prevent the enemy from capping. Grab the flag and run. This will hopefully give your team time to regroup and you might even get a cap out of it. The soldier is one of the easier classes to cap within the game, thanks to having a pretty good boost in the form of the thumper and having quite a good energy pool. Use the easier advantage. Also, you have more health than the light, and as such, it could be a good choice if you think you're going to take a beating as you go over the enemy flag. That's all I'm going to touch on when it comes to capping as a soldier, as it mostly comes down to knowing routes, and I'm sure myself or Zero will make a video on capping routes at some point in the future. So that's all for now then guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something. If you liked, please do favourite and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Good hunting.